The main risk factors for prostate cancer are going to be age, race. For example, African-American men have a much higher risk of have, developing prostate cancer and having the more aggressive disease, but also family history and there are dietary concerns. Diets that are high in fat and processed foods and sometimes meat and dairy may lead to increased risk of prostate cancer. Many people ask, what are the symptoms of prostate cancer? Well, if we catch it early, there are no symptoms. We typically diagnose prostate cancer with a rising PSA or an abnormal rectal exam. Symptoms, if it is advanced, can lead to obstruction, can lead to blood in the urine, can lead to bone pain, but there are no symptoms for early diagnosed prostate cancer. The symptoms that most men mistake for prostate cancer, the obstruction of flow, the slow stream, the getting up at night to urinate, those are typically from a benign prostate gland, but should be checked. Testosterone does not cause prostate cancer, but if you have a prostate problem, testosterone will magnify it. Testosterone will stimulate prostate cells to grow, both healthy prostate cells and cancerous cells. That's why if you're getting testosterone, it's very important to be under a doctor's care and have your PSA checked and get regular digital rectal exams. It does not cause prostate cancer, however, but if you have a small dormant cancer, it may make it worse. Some prostate cancers are high risk, aggressive, and more likely to spread. Others are low risk, least likely to have bad outcomes. The biopsy says cancer, but current diagnostic tools provide limited information about how aggressive a man's individual disease is. So most men decide to treat prostate cancer immediately. Once treated, many men experience serious long-term side effects, like incontinence and sexual impotence. Immediate treatment isn't always needed, but right now a man can't be sure if his cancer is the kind that is likely to require treatment or if he's okay to wait for now. What if there was a test that could determine how aggressive prostate cancer is? Genomic Health is developing a new test to do just that. By reviewing the underlying biology of the tumor and using genes from multiple biologic pathways, the test can predict the aggressiveness of prostate cancer when diagnosed allowing a man to make a more informed treatment decision with confidence, taking care of himself with more information and greater peace of mind.